there are only two types of animals. Those who camps the Biroko terminal as a stalker infiltrator. And others who is camping that stalker infiltrator camping the Biroko terminal. This is the animals of the Oraxis. The Biroko Terminals Located across much of the facilities in Oraxis, it's one of the most biodiverse places of the planet. Teeming with low battle rank players who have not yet learned that the Biroko's can be spawned directly from the map, this is the hunting ground of many of the Oraxis' ruthless predators. One such predator is a stalker Biroko terminal campers, also known as a rat or piece of shit. This subspecies of stalker infiltrator is the planet's most unrelentless ambush predators who specializes in this one and one thing only, killing a low battle rank player standing still to access the Biroko terminal. The exact explanation of this behavior is still subjected to wild speculations, but what is certain is that all Biroko terminal campers are perfectly adapted for absolutely demolishing a new player that are standing still. Their choice of stalker clocking allows them to remain entirely hidden for hours as they lay and wait for the perfect opportunity. After falling into such a dirty cheese strategy, the enemy planetman is quick to search the perimeter. But the evolutional adaptation gives Biroko terminal campers an unwieldy patience, able to outlast a regular planetman in a game of cat and mouse. Here we see a Biroko terminal camper at its natural habitat observing each NC soldiers to select the perfect target. Wait a minute, that guy was no NC. Oh sh Now it is not uncommon that the stalker campers encounter its own kind at a Biroko terminal. Here, I was freelance on BS and ran into this TR heavy assault. He just lays C4s on the terminal and hides in a corner. It's going to be a surprise. But the Biroko Terminal is a cruel place where a predator can become a prey. As unbeknownst to Biroko Terminal campers, there exists its natural enemy, the Biroko Terminal Camper Campers. Now these are the Oraxis' perfect ambush predator who on the first glance is just identical to regular Biroko terminal campers. Until you realize that the Biroko terminal they're camping is that of their faction. These guys are camping at their own base waiting for the enemy infiltrator to come camp their terminal. But unlike Biroko terminal campers, Terminal camper campers are rather a diverse family of species, ranging from a camping infiltrator, counter camp max, to a suspiciously empty sandy at a tower base. Now I first came to discover their existence when I was sneaking into enemy center base and got brutally killed by this AFK looking sandy camping by the Biroko terminal, which made me remember that just a day before, I died to the exact same guy camping at a tower base. This guy has been camping here for 24 hours. <laughs> Why he spends hours and hours just waiting for the enemy Biroko terminal campers who may not even be online to begin with, much of it is still unknown to science. But perhaps the question we should be asking is what has Biroko terminal campers done to you? What did these animals do to you in the past that you would waste hours and hours just sitting here camping them? Unfortunately, we do not have the answer yet. But something must have happened 
to create these 0.05 kpm monsters. In this episode, we have learned that the Biroko Terminal provides a valuable habitat to Oraxis' most unique species of animals. Yet, with the current creative direction of the game devs, these unique species of Oraxis may no longer exist in the future. The introduction of this camp in 2019 has already reduced the success rate of camping a Biroko Terminal. And with the current community's push, the annoying bag that says the Biroko Terminal is unavailable, even though it's neither destroyed nor hacked. This bag may be fixed in the future. The bag fix, if ever pushed into live server, would further cripple the entire ecosystem surrounding the Biroko Terminal. Now, more than ever, the Oraxis needs the protection. The greater conservation efforts need to be put in place in order for us to preserve this intricate yet beautiful biodiversity of the planet. <laughs>